Okay, in order to calculate um, the resulting force, so we have to use the moment concept. Moment means uh, the force times the length, so we get the moment. Okay, so for the resultant force, it is 92.75, but the length measured, okay, this is measured from the bottom of the wall, okay, uh, so you, you don't know the Z isn't it? This is the one that you want to find out. But, however, you know the location of this force, of these individual forces. Is that right? So let me use a different color here. For example, for shape 1, okay, for area 1, the force is 38.01, isn't it? We calculated it just now. So we know that uh, the force is located here at the centroid okay at the center of this triangle same goes to this um, uh, force here for shape 2 it is located here at, at the center of this uh, shape and this is the same a third from the bottom this is also the same a third from the bottom okay so what you can do is, you have to do this uh, individually, okay? So for uh, shape 1, <coughs> the force is 38.01 times, so the resultant is 1 third. Over one third times um, the height of uh, the triangle, which is three. Okay. Mm. This plus uh, the height of the rectangle, which is uh, one point five. Okay. And then plus thirty eight point zero one for the uh, ship two for ship two thirty eight point zero one times half, isn't it? So the location of the force is uh, half from the bottom. Okay, one point five divided by two. Okay, plus Shape number three, it is one third times the height, 1.5 times the force, which is 5.69, okay, plus the um, shape four is one third times 11.0. Uh, sorry, one third over one third times uh, the height, which is 1.5, okay, times 11.04. All right, and then you do, we do this math here, okay, we do this math, and this is uh, 95.03. This one is 28.51 plus this is 2.85 and then the last one here is 5.52. Okay, therefore your Z is uh, summation of all of this, which is equals to, just bear with me, plus 28.51 plus 2.85 plus 5.52, okay, 131.91 divided by this, okay, 
you shift this to this side, so divide by 92.75. Therefore, the location of your resultant force is 1.42. Okay, 1.42 meter from the bottom of the wall. Okay, so this is your answer, 1.2 meter from the bottom of the wall. Basically, if you draw, okay, so we'll draw again, this is your um, retaining wall, okay, with um, sand backfill, but two layers. The first one is without water, the second one is saturated with water. So the force is acting over here, approximately over here. So this is your uh, 92.75 kilonewton per meter. This is your P note just now, remember? And then it is acting at 1.42 meter from the bottom of the wall. You can actually calculate from the top of the wall, but the answer will be the same. Okay, so now uh, basically you have completed the second task, which is determine the location of the resultant force. So we did this and we did that. So we're done. Okay, uh, this is, I just want to emphasize to you guys that this is just one example. Okay, in in real situation, in real um, condition, we have so many other different cases. Okay, for example, this one, uh, this is your simple retaining wall uh, with sand backfill. Okay, this is um, sand with two layers. The first one is dry, and the second one is saturated. Sometimes, uh, in real life, you will face situation like this you know it can be very simple like this for example other cases okay other uh, condition okay other condition okay you will have um, this retaining wall and you just have one type of soil okay with no groundwater okay so this is case one condition one and you will also experience something like the one that we did just now. Okay, your retaining wall. And then you have uh, ground water. Okay, this is ground water table. And this is, for example, sand. This is also sand. Okay, this is condition two. Sometimes, uh, this is your retaining wall. You will also have two uh, layers, but different type. This is sand. This is clay, okay? Something like this. And uh, another case is something like uh, this. You will have, um, for example, sand, okay? Different types, okay? And this is, uh, again, the groundwater table. This is also sand. However, your property here uh, is different. For example, the friction angle. It's different. This is 35, for example, and friction, friction angle for the second layer is 42, for example. So this will give a dif different values, okay? Uh, so this is number three, number four. You will also experience something like this. This is your retaining wall, okay? And then you have round water table here, okay? two layers of sand for example but you have something at the top okay you have another forces at the top we call it surcharge okay so this is also um, different this this will also affect all the forces uh, that you will calculate so different types so what we did just now is basically case uh, close to case uh, or condition two okay we have sand same friction angle, okay?
So I hope that um, you guys will allocate some time, will spend some time, okay? Beruntukkan sedikit masa untuk explore uh, or do the calculation or exercise for different, um, for these different conditions that I mentioned to you. Alright?